Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play Europa Universalis 4, is now the Empire. And if you're here for a Tiller Total War, don't worry, that'll be up on the weekend alongside some other videos. Now, last episode, we advanced Lyra to Bonoman peacefully, gone to war with Mossy, hopefully to get this. Hadn't quite got it. Now we were fabricating on these idiots. Uh, the house and the Zazu. Which isn't very really much all. The only issue is, I'm already at war with these. Uh, I'm already at war with... It wouldn't matter much. Vagabond has no revolt this. Oh yeah, that's a bit rude, isn't it? Piece of shit. Get squished. I can't quite get that yet. I'm trying to convert Kong to get the revolt risk down. Might be successful, might not. So, not too much manpower I have. But I have enough. I'd rather upgrade my armies in size. I'll just build another army to deal with the wider front and higher attrition and such in the area. I'm not going to use the templates just for that. And that revolt risk should now go away. I'm still going to get this tech, even if that might become quite a pain for me. Uh, go there. So advancing from my vassals around into Dagbon immediately is the plan. <sighs> Hopefully crushing them while we're at it. That allied to the Hauser, which I'm already at war with. And Zazu who I don't consider much of a threat. So I'm going to go to war for it. I'm going to do what I'd refer to as maintaining the front permanently. Hence, they can't get past. At least not through normal means. Right, these go to here, these go to here. And then it will slowly wrap around them. Now, normally I'd be less focused if I know I'd win, even if I'm basically outnumbered tremendously. So now I can advance to there, Dagbon itself. Zazu down there went and got a little bit stupid. So they're gonna go into Kong. Now Zazu has a good general but that won't be a good enough thing to deal with. So here you can see that, in general, I'm making plenty of power, plenty of money, even with the new army. And I've still got enough manpower. So 
let's go and kill these rebels who are mossy pretenders. They shouldn't be too difficult since they still use mossy tech. Which is terrible. Ooh, in Custodor. He wasn't the one I was using, so that's good at least. Oh shit, they still... They're stubborn as hell, aren't they? Yeah, I'm going to have to kill them off again. Okay, shit lords, where are you going to go this time? <sighs> Annoying. They just don't want to give in that one, do they? Dagbon's been basically fully sieged. I'm going to reduce them in size quite a bit. And quite possibly give... I'm going to take all that. Possibly that. Now, I'll go with that. They'll be less reluctant than normal. Yeah. I'm going to have that fort soon enough, you piece of shit. <sighs> Oaken finally in the war with Marcy. not going to cost very much the can well did cost a bit but not massive amount <laughs> why are they not attacking these they could easily do that they look like, scared that I'll just come over and smash their faces in if this doesn't siege up soon oh for fucks yep yeah. I'm sending this army I'm getting fed up not sure if that had any effect I'll take that as well inspiring victory now I have to make all this really stable which in its best period is going to be unlikely. So let's make that priority. So I can convert some provinces, but these are just going to happen real quick. It's like 3.3 .3 years, 4.5 years. There's not going to be much time. So I gained a significant amount of land. The troops are hopefully going to actually recover now. Now, no, I've got a Grand Captain, Spy Master, and Treasurer. They're all 44. Which is pretty old. But they could be older. I'm sorry for hearing me drinking. It's a hot day at the moment. So, in all reality, I hope I can actually stabilize this massive amount of land I've taken. 
since I haven't really got the manpower to do all the stuff. Well, I haven't got the manpower to super stabilize it. Though, nor do I have the admin. Instead, it's got the temple. Master Recruiter, that's at, uh, manpower related. Philosopher. <laughs> so things are going okay, I guess. Not well, but they're okay. Like, things are only at like 30% already. Now, slowly coring all this land, it's absolutely okay. And eventually I will integrate these as well. And these, this is in two province states. Vassal, and they'd cost 96 uh, uh, six dip points, which is quite a lot. A bit steep, in my opinion. And all you has vassalized these these guys, yeah. They're most likely never gonna like me again. I think I will actually focus this now. Since I want the core a lot. And I'm actually going to want to get this idea. I believe Song Hai came to the defense of somewhere I attacked earlier. So that's everything being called. Though this is having a missionary work in it. That'll enable me to get some admin power built up. Tenko Doga. Where missionary is. <laughs> now, hopefully I can get that admin tech. Colonize this. My air is okay. Well, he's good actually. And shit. But you know, this guy's just gonna fall over and die, which is not something I want at all. Now I need quite a bit of that. Inspiring victory. There won't be a war again for a while, at least I hope so. And I also hope that I can convert all this without much issue. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Yeah, I'm gonna go a bit over my force limit here. Don't really care that if I do. But either way, ended the war this episode. Gone a lot faster than I thought it would. Felt pretty quick, unrealistically quick actually. And well, I've gained a mass of land, even if it isn't particularly well developed. Either way, I'm going to begin further fabrications on more nations. 
concluding this, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.